Hello everybody and welcome back. Today we will talk about the tropism. So tropism is a curvature which occurs in the plant, either was in the stem or in the root, due to the um, different distribution of the external factors on one side of the plant than the other side. So geotropism is called also gravity tropism. And it's apparent here that this is related to gravity. So first, we have to talk about the roots. What makes the root goes downwards into the soil? So if we have a plant and it's planted normally in its vertical position, so that the roots go downwards and the stem grows upwards. So, people saw that the roots go downwards in search of water. But here a question is asked. If there was the water upwards, will the stem grow upwards or it will still grow downwards? The answer is it will grow downwards. So, let's see this picture in here. If you see this picture, we can find that the roots of this tree grow into a vacuum. Just it grows downwards. And there isn't any soil, there isn't even any water except for the water vapor in the air in this vacuum and this is insufficient for the plant growth. So what made the root grow into this vacuum? And this is just its downwards. This is because of the effect of gravity. As gravity affects any object on the earth, so it affects the root to grow downwards. And naturally, as the root grows downwards, the stem will grow upwards. This is the nature of the plant. When the plant is planted in its vertical position. So what happens if the plant is uh, growing on a horizontal position? So we will look at this following video of an onion and the stem of this onion is growing horizontally then it continues its cross. It means that it was growing on a horizontal surface like, like that. The plant was found like that. So this is the stem and this is the onion in here. Then it was put in a vertical position again. So we will see what happens. So as you can see, after the stem was growing like that, it begins to take a curve upwards. This is the effect of gravity tropism. And as we saw in the picture of the, um, in the first of the video, the root grew downwards and there wasn't even any water or soil. So this was also the effect of gravity. Why does this geotropism occur? So this is the effect of auxins, the plant hormones. So the geotropism occurs due to the effect of auxins. The auxins are the plant hormones and they are produced from the uh, small tip of the step. So when the plant is found in its normal vertical position, 
the auxins are produced on equal terms on both sides of the step. So if the um, D tap was put on an agar block so that the auxins can diffuse to this agar block to see their distributions, we will find that 50% of the produced auxins are found on the left and 50% of the produced auxins are found on the right. So they are equally distributed. While when the plant is put in a horizontal position, the distribution of auxins occur in different um, terms. So, this is the tip of the plant and the curvature takes this uh, shape. So we will find at the lower end, the end nearer to the uh, gravity, 67% of oxygen. While at the upper end, we will find 33% of the oxygen produced. So more oxygen are found at the uh, part facing gravity and 33% of oxygen are found at the part away from gravity. So the presence of a larger ratio of oxygen here induce the growth of this um, side while the lower ratio of oxygen on the other side away from gravity um, diminishes the growth of this part so the growth increases in here and the curvature takes this um, shape. This is the effect in the stem and as the stem grows in the uh, direction opposite to gravity, this stem is a negative geotropic. The opposite effect occurs in the roots. So, at the um, part facing the gravity, at the 67% of the oxygen are present. Here, the 67% diminish the growth of this part, and the 33% induce the growth of the other part. So the curvature takes this place. So the root is positive geotropic because it goes in the direction where the gravity is found. So uh, that was gravitropism or geotropism and the next time we'll talk about hydrotropism and until the next time I thank you for watching and see you.